That's right. You are currently watching the very first. Oh my god, kind of live stream. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the 100th episode of Oh My Guy Con Live. It has been a very, very long and very, very strange trip getting to this point that has spanned at least six years. Uh, it's probably going on to actually seven at this point. Uh, when I first started live streaming, you know, DDR content onto Twitch, to YouTube, and other social media platforms, and platforms that don't even exist anymore, like Mixer. But... I wanted to kind of take this time before we actually got into the first, uh, or the 100th live stream for that matter, and kind of like talk about the evolution of my live streaming and kind of where it's it's all taken me. So I actually started streaming back in, in 2013 or 2014, and I actually ended up streaming DDR Supernova 2 at first, and it started off with just a webcam really you know the first episode was just the webcam and i was trying to capture what was going on on screen it was horrible it was it was not even worth watching i like i don't even know why i streamed back then like that but i guess people are just so interested in the possibility of you know streaming vdr content that people stuck around and by the time i did that second or third episode i was doing live capture. It wasn't very good live capture, mind you, but at the same time, you know, we we're making progress to, you know, what what we end up being today. You know, where it was like a main capture, it was a foot cam, and eventually a face cam, and an actual decent condenser mic. So, uh, yeah, it started all with that Supernova 2 stream, and from there, you know, it evolved into playing DR 2013, because my friend uh, loaned me his DDR kit to put out under the big top for everyone else to enjoy, as well as myself. And eventually we got DDR 2014, and that's when things really, I guess, started really taking off, you know, and a lot of people started tuning in. And that's when kind of like the, the medium of it being like a three or four hour stream, I guess, really came from, you know. It was like, I can, I can do enough content and keep enough interest for about four hours that people will be interested in this content. And... <laughs> Even going to, like, today, you know, like, my streams, like, have evolved even past four hours. There's streams I've done for six hours, and I think even a couple have been seven hours long. It's, that's insane for playing DDR and for people to tune in to, to a live stream, you know. It's it's nuts. But uh, eventually all things, all good things had to come to an end, and under the big top, uh, you know, we decided to go our separate ways. I started working around one at the time, and... I couldn't keep the kit uh, that my friend loaned under the big top any longer in the machine. So we took all of our machines out and then I moved to a new house with my mom and uh, my brother. And that's about the time when I started streaming, you know, my 573 games. And then I got Supernova 2K and started streaming Supernova 2. And then I finally got a Bamani PC and was able to start streaming semi-new content, you know, it was... It was not new, new content like DDR 2014 or like eventually DDR Ace, but you know, we we got that kit and it, it opened up new possibilities and you know, reasons for people to tune in and watch. And that was really, really exciting for me to say the least. You know, I was super, super hyped about that. Uh, but as time went on, you know, and that, that, that kind of living with my mom had to come to an end essentially, you know what I mean? So I ended up moving out. And my mom moved in with her, her new husband, and I moved into an apartment. And at the time, it was like, will I even be able to live stream and play DDR in this apartment? I certainly tried my best. You know, I, I made sure to get an apartment that was the, the end unit in the apartment complex. And also, it was a first floor. It was on the first floor, which is very, very important. And I was trying to be respectful and make sure, you know, people couldn't hear the machine and they, they were going to be okay with me playing and end up out end up working okay you know like no one ever complained and people that you know would walk by my window they they would always be like you're the guy that has the dr machine that is so cool don't people like ever complain about you playing I'm like nope never got a complaint i just try to play during the day when you know people are probably out and about and they're not caring so much but i you know if someone ever complained to me i would definitely be taking care of it 
Uh, but, you know, I, I did a lot of live streams at that apartment, and eventually, you know, uh, things happen. You know, we, we go on with our lives. I got promoted to a, a senior management role, the company I work for now. And I actually ended up having to move to California. And that's when things really got kind of, you know, scary for me as, like, a, a live streaming partner. Because it's just like, will people care about me when I come back? Because this is going to be a really long transition, essentially. I had, to, I had to move to California, right? I had to train for two months. And then I had to remotely support other stores. Well, not even remotely. I had to, like, actually go to other stores and, like you know, help out at the other stores, you know. So I was going all over California, helping out, and then my store had to open, and we had to train people, and then I had to move on top of everything else, and it was it was a lot on my plate, and I was like, when I come back, people are not going to know who I am anymore or even care, but you guys were there. You know, you guys were there, and you, you showed your support, and you, you showed me that, you know, no matter how long it takes, you know, my audience is going to continue to devote their time to me and really, really care about the, the content that I produce, which means a lot to me from the bottom of my heart. It really, really does. Um, but when I moved out here too, you know, I had to, I had to set up my machine inside my house and we realized that the, you know, the floor was not so good for the DDR machine. So we had to move it back into the garage and then we finally got live streaming and then the coronavirus pandemic happened and it was like, what's, what's going to happen now? You know, am I going to have to move? Am I going to have to sell my machines even? Oh God, that would have been terrible. But you know, we, we got through it, you know, and some of that was because of the support that you guys have given me, you know, you were there for me. You, you kind of got my mind off of like all the shittiness that was kind of happening all around me and I, I really really do appreciate all the kind words all the support you know that, that I had during those times because it definitely was difficult and it was very scary and to say it was a midlife crisis uh, is an understatement because I was definitely losing hair and lots of sleep over uh, you know thinking about what was going to end up happening but everything turned out okay which is great and you know that allowed me to get to today, which is the 100th live stream of Oh My God Con Live. And it's really all thanks to you guys, the fans. It really, really is. And I really do mean that if it wasn't for you guys, I don't know if I would be making DDR content on YouTube, Twitch, or anything anymore. I don't know what I would be doing on the internet, honestly. Uh, maybe I wouldn't be on the internet at all. So I really do want to take the time to thank every single one of you for tuning in, for, you know, donating, for, you know, following, for subscribing, for just showing up and, you know, giving me a reason to continue playing this game. Because without you, I, I don't know where I would be, honestly. And it's fun, you know, and it makes DDR much more interesting to me and much more appealing to continue playing. So thank you all once again from the bottom of my heart. Uh, seriously, I don't know where I would be. <laughs> so, uh, but now on to Oh My God Kind of Live number 100. So, a couple things before we get started. I'm so sorry I'm flipping my hair every five seconds here. Uh, my hair's very long. You know, we're in the, we're in the middle of the pandemic and I can't get a haircut. So, uh, but, uh, for this live stream I was originally going to be doing giveaways, you know, I was going to be giving away a bunch of DDR prizes and other stuff. But unfortunately, because of like how everything is working out with like my work schedule and it being Easter, I decided to go ahead and postpone the giveaway for stream number 101, where I will likely be streaming on, for one, a Saturday and uh, two, it will give people an opportunity to actually ensure that they're going to be here for that content to, you know, receive all this cool swag and stuff like that. So today we're just going to celebrate me t turning uh, 30. It's a day early, but it's it's close enough. We're not going to gain closer without us going past this date, essentially. So let, let's go ahead and celebrate my 30th birthday. Let's celebrate Easter together and let's celebrate my 100th live stream. So without further ado, Let's jump into it, and but even before we do that, let's take a quick look back over 
the years of me doing, oh my god, kind of live and streaming DDR content. And then, let's play some DDR for everyone watching.